my name is Ignatius Nip. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences, and this is the speech physiology lab um, in that school. So if you were to walk into a pediatrician's office, um, you'll see charts of times, um, milestones of when a child begins to sit, begins to crawl, begins to walk. Um, while we have some good information about when um, speech begins, so kids are usually saying their first words at about um, 12 months of age, putting two words together at two years of age, uh, we really don't have a good idea of what the um, necessary underlying movement skills in order to, um, are needed in order to develop speech and language. So um, one of the things that we're trying to do in this lab is to identify those milestones so that we have a better idea of what normal speech motor development occurs for um, speech and language development. So what we have um, in our lab is an eight camera motion capture system. Um, each of these cameras sends out pulses of infrared light and we put 15 reflective markers on our participants' faces. So um, on the forehead, the eyebrows, the lips, the nose, the jaw, the infrared light bounces off the reflective markers into the camera and um, so it only sees those 15 reflective dots. So that information gets fed into our computer here and we can um, build a 3D model in real time of the participant's face as they're speaking. So we can get some really fine-grained, um, precise measurements of how much movement is happening um, in each of the different uh, markers, uh, how quickly movement is happening, and then we can compare across um, the different markers to see how things are moving together or not moving together, for example. This is actually the same system that um, has been used in different um, movies made in Hollywood, such as um, Lord of the Rings. They use this technology to animate Gollum. Identifying typical development would allow us potentially because we can do this um, procedure with kids as young as three months of age, um, one month of age, um, perhaps we can identify kids at risk for speech and language, um, later speech and language delays and disorders at an earlier age so we can provide intervention sooner.